Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers related to implementation projects in SAP PP interviews. 1. What is the role of an SAP PP consultant in an implementation project, and how do you contribute to the project's success? Answer an implementation project, and SAP PP consultant is responsible for configuring and Customizing the SAP PP module to meet the client's production and planning requirements. Contributions include gathering business requirements, conducting workshops, designing solutions, and ensuring successful system deployment. 2. Explain the key steps involved in the SAP PP implementation lifecycle, from project preparation to post-implementation support. Answer. The implementation lifecycle includes project preparation, business blueprinting, realization configuration, final preparation testing, go live, and post-implementation support. Consultants collaborate with stakeholders, map business processes, configure the system, conduct testing, and provide ongoing support. 3. How do you approach SAP PP business blueprinting in an implementation project? and what key documents do you create during this phase? Answer, business blueprinting involves documenting production and planning processes and requirements. Consultants conduct workshops, gather information, and create documents such as business process master list BPL, business process procedure BP, and functional specifications. 4. Explain the process of SAP PP master data migration in an implementation project. And how do you ensure data accuracy and integrity during the migration process? Answer. Master data migration involves transferring production-related data from legacy systems to SAP. Consultants use tools like LUSM Legacy System Migration Workbench, perform data cleansing, and conduct data validation to ensure accurate and reliable master data in the SAP system. 5. How do you configure SAP PP organizational elements plants, work centers, and production planning areas to align with client requirements in an implementation project? Answer. Organizational elements are configured based on client requirements. Consultants use transactions like SPRO for configuration and CARA 1 CARA 2 for creation and maintenance. Aligning organizational elements with the client's production structure. 6. Explain the SAP PP production planning MIP ERP configuration in an implementation project. And how do you customize the system to meet specific planning requirements? Answer. Production planning MIP ERP configuration involves defining settings for material requirements planning. Consultants use transactions like SPRO for configuration and MDO1 MDO2 for material planning. Customizing the system to meet specific planning requirements and strategies. 7. How do you configure SAP PP work centers and routing in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for accurate production scheduling? Answer. Work centers and routing configuration involves defining production resources and operations. Consultants use transactions like CAR01 CAR02 for work center creation and CA01 CA02 for routing maintenance. Ensuring accurate production scheduling based on available resources. 8. Explain the SAP PP production orders configuration in an implementation project. And how do you customize the system to manage production orders efficiently? Answer. Production orders configuration involves defining settings for production order creation and execution. Consultants use transactions like SPRO for configuration and CO01 CO02 for production order creation and maintenance. Customizing the system to manage production orders efficiently. 9. How do you configure SAP PP capacity planning in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for optimizing production capacity? Answer. Capacity planning configuration involves determining the available capacity for production resources. Consultants use transactions like CM01 for capacity leveling and CM21 for capacity planning. 
configuring the system to optimize production capacity based on resource availability. 10. Explain the SAP PP shop floor control configuration in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system to monitor and control production activities? Answer. Shop floor control configuration involves monitoring and controlling production activities on the shop floor. Consultants use transactions like QUIS for order information system and CO11N for confirmation. Configuring the system to track and control production orders. 11. How do you configure SAP PP variant configuration in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for managing configurable products? Answer. Variant configuration involves managing products with multiple options and variants. Consultants use transactions like CU41 for creating a configuration profile and CU50 for creating a variant. Configuring the system to support the creation and management of configurable products. 12. Explain the SAP PP production planning SOP configuration in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system to perform sales and production planning? Answer. Sales and operations planning SOP configuration involves aligning production plans with sales forecasts. Consultants use transactions like MIC-81 for planning hierarchy and MIC-74 for planning scenarios. Configuring the system to perform integrated sales and production planning. 13. How do you configure SAP PP demand management in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for aligning production with demand? Answer. Demand management configuration involves aligning production plans with demand forecasts. Consultants use transactions like MD61 for planning and MD74 for interactive demand management. Configuring the system to support accurate production planning based on demand fluctuations. 14. Explain the SAP PP long-term planning LPA configuration in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system for strategic production planning? Answer. Long-term planning LPA configuration involves strategic production planning for an extended period. Consultants use transactions like MIS-01 for LPA planning and MIS-04 for planning run analysis. Configuring the system to support long-term production planning based on strategic goals. 15. How do you configure SAP PP production costing in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for accurate cost calculation? Answer. Production costing configuration involves determining the costs associated with production orders. Consultants use transactions like OX for overhead key configuration and CAC11N for cost estimate creation. Configuring the system to accurately calculate production costs. 16. Explain the SAP PP repetitive manufacturing configuration in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system to manage continuous production processes? Answer. Repetitive manufacturing configuration involves managing continuous, repetitive production processes. Consultants use transactions like C223 for product cost collector creation and MF50 for planning table. Configuring the system to support repetitive manufacturing scenarios. 17. How do you configure SAP PP batch management in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for managing materials with batch characteristics? Answer. Batch management configuration involves managing materials with distinct batch characteristics. Consultants use transactions like OMKI for batch level setup and MISC-1N for batch master data maintenance. Configuring the system to support batch tracking, tracing, and reporting. 18. Explain the SAP PP quality management integration in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system to manage quality inspections in production? Answer. Quality management integration involves integrating quality checks into production processes. Consultants use transactions like QM01 for quality notifications and QM02 for notification change. 
Configuring the system to trigger quality inspections during production. 19. How do you configure SAP PP Kanban in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for implementing a poll-based production system? Answer. Kanban configuration involves implementing a poll-based production system using visual signals. Consultants use transactions like PK01 for Kanban creation and PAK13N for Kanban board. Configuring the system to support efficient material replenishment based on demand. 20. Explain the SAP PP integration with SAP MM and SAP SD in an implementation project. And how do you ensure seamless data flow between PP, MM, and SD modules? Answer. Integration with SAP MM and SAP SD involves ensuring smooth data flow between production, procurement, and sales processes. Consultants use transactions like OVSI for defining delivery types and VOV8 for assigning item categories. Ensuring integration settings for consistent data exchange. 21. How do you configure SAP PP subcontracting in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for managing production processes with external vendors? Answer. Subcontracting configuration involves managing production processes with external vendors. Consultants use transactions like MO2 for material master data and ME21N for subcontracting purchase orders. Configuring the system to support efficient collaboration with external vendors. 22. Explain the SAP PP product cost by period configuration in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system for calculating periodic production costs? Answer. Product cost by period configuration involves calculating periodic production costs. Consultants use transactions like OX for overhead key configuration and CAC40N for cost object analysis. Configuring the system to calculate and analyze production costs over specific periods. 23. How do you configure SAP PP discrete manufacturing in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for managing discrete production processes? Answer. Discrete manufacturing configuration involves managing individual, distinct production processes. Consultants use transactions like CO01 for order creation and MF50 for planning. Table. Configuring the system to support discrete manufacturing scenarios. 24. Explain the SAP PP intercompany manufacturing configuration in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system to manage production processes between different legal entities? Answer. Well, company manufacturing involves managing production processes between different legal entities. Consultants use transactions like MO2 for material master data and CO01 for production order creation. Configuring the system to manage production processes and data flow between entities. 25. How do you configure SAP PP integration with advanced planning and optimization APO in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for synchronized planning? Answer. Migration with APO involves synchronizing planning data between SAP PP and advanced planning and optimization. Consultants use transactions like CIF for core interface setup and SAPAPO MAT1 for material master data transfer. Configuring the system for consistent planning across modules. 26. Explain the SAP PP mass processing configuration in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system to execute mass transactions for production orders? Answer. Mass processing configuration involves executing mass transactions for production orders. Consultants use transactions like Core 1 for single order creation and Core 2 for mass order creation. Configuring the system to streamline and automate mass processing activities. 27. How do you configure SAP PP integration with IAT Internet of Things devices in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for leveraging real-time data in production processes? 
Answer, integration with IAD involves connecting production processes with Internet of Things devices for real-time data. Consultants use technologies like SAP Leonardo and configure the system to receive and analyze real-time data from IAT devices. 28. Explain the SAP PP integration with MIS manufacturing execution system in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system to integrate shop floor activities with SAP PP? Answer. Integration with MIS involves connecting shop floor activities with SAP PP for real-time monitoring. Consultants use technologies like SAP ME manufacturing, migration, and intelligence, and configure the system to ensure seamless integration between shop floor and SAP PP. 29. How do you configure SAP PP integration with RFID radio frequency identification in an implementation project? And what considerations are important for tracking materials and products using RFID technology? Answer, integration with RFID involves using RFID technology to track materials and products. Consultants configure the system to integrate RFID devices with SAP PP, enabling real-time tracking and visibility of materials throughout the production process. 30. Explain the SAP PP integration with Advanced Manufacturing Execution AME, in an implementation project. And how do you set up the system for advanced shop floor control? Answer. Migration with AME involves advanced shop floor control for complex manufacturing processes. Consultants use technologies like SAP ME Manufacturing Execution and configure the system to support advanced functionalities such as electronic work instructions and real-time production monitoring. These questions and answers cover various aspects of SAP PP in implementation projects. Interviewers may tailor questions based on the candidate's experience and the specific requirements of the organization. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.